Hey girl and welcome back to another video. I bet if I give all my love then nothing's gonna tear us I am very excited for today's video because we are going to talk about my 20 best micro beauty habits that I do on a daily basis that make me feel and look like that girl. This is your first time seeing my face. Hello girl, my name is Jasmine, Jazz Turner 16 on all social media platforms and I create content all about how to glow up, how to become your best self. So if that sounds like something you're focusing on this year, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, like this video, it really helps me out and comment something down below like one of your best micro beauty habits. I would love to to know put me on this video is sponsored by dalba thank you so much dalba for sponsoring this video and supporting this community so i created this video about a year ago and it was basically like high maintenance to be low maintenance like the high maintenance things that i do like one time so that i don't have to do anything for the rest of the month like some examples of these are like getting my lashes done so i just wake up with lash extensions or like getting a sew-in so i don't really have to like do my natural hair like that or like for instance like getting my eyebrows microbladed so i don't have to do those so it's like little things that are kind of higher in price like a little bit invasive whatever it might be just so that throughout the month or maybe the rest of my life i don't have to put that much effort into it i am such a high maintenance to be low maintenance girly i made another video a couple of videos that was like little things that i do that i notice that when i do them i get a lot of compliments on them and that's kind of like the vibe of this video and i've compiled the 20 things that when i do these things or when I fall off these things, I notice a change in the way that I feel and the way that I look and the amount of compliments I get. Just overall vibe, I notice a difference. Say hello, Benji. <laughs> So if that sounds like your vibe, keep on watching today. Okay, I'm looking at this list right now and a lot of it is like physical, obviously beauty, but I do have some like lifestyle and internal stuff in here. So when I say beauty, I really mean from like the inside out. So let's start with the inside out, the things based off of this list. If you see me looking down, I'm looking at this beautiful list. I will also have the list in the description as well just for you to reference it and anything that i reference in this video will also be down in the description below so my first micro beauty habit and if you watched my daily glow up diaries you would have already seen this but playing classical music jazz music or gospel music when you first wake up it literally romanticizes your entire morning your entire life it is such like a free 99 way to just upgrade your entire mood for the rest of the day and it just makes me feel so luxe and so beautiful sometimes it makes me feel like i'm in like a youtube video or something like that like every single morning you know i wake up in the morning and immediately i play piano chill on apple music or if i'm in a gospel mood for that day something that is just so soul filling something that is so peaceful something that sets the tone for the rest of the day whether you just play music while you're doing your skincare routine or you just play music you know while you're picking out your clothes like it is such a little game changer that you can do it's such a micro inner beauty habit that i love to do on the same wave in the morning playing affirmations in the morning whether you find them on youtube i listen to habits of a goddess because they're so good they're like 10 to 15 minute affirmations and i listen to them on my way to work but I don't commute to work maybe you listen to them while you're making your coffee maybe you listen to them again when you're doing your skincare routine when you're picking out your clothes programming your mind that early in the morning when you just wake up to affirmations is so powerful another powerful thing if you want to like listen to classical music you want to listen to gospel music in the morning listening to affirmations while you are winding down in your nighttime routine is so bomb I've, I've even heard of people playing like frequencies or affirmations manifestation things while they are asleep almost to kind of like program their brain to hear those positive affirmations so it gets into their subconscious it is such an inner beauty micro beauty habit that is just ah uh, I love I love the way that music affects my life in such a positive way and being able to use it and to channel it to put me into better moods to set the tone for the rest of my day 
chef's kiss. Another internal micro beauty habit that I think is so bomb is upgrading your vocabulary. You can do this in a couple of different ways. You can do this just by reading more and more advanced books and challenging yourself. And every single time you run into a word, look it up, recite it, know how to pronounce it correctly and start using it in your everyday language. Or you can use a vocabulary app. You can use apps. Literally there's an app called vocabulary. You can use word of the day. You can use vocabulary builder. Also, if you're trying to learn a different language this is such a little way that you can like add in that learning that skill that mindfulness into your everyday life another great thing you can do lifestyle wise is your posture your posture is everything not only is it great for your health but it is also great in how you present yourself your posture can say a lot about you it can make you appear more feminine it can make you appear more confident it can literally make you feel like you're commanding a room without even saying anything again it's great just health wise to have great posture but it's also in the way that you present yourself to other people when we're thinking about our higher Herself, when we're thinking the glowed up version of herself, she's not slouching down, she's not making herself small, she stands up straight, she looks confident in her body, she, in her smile, in the way that she approaches people, her body language, her hand gestures. Being aware of your body as a woman in any certain space is such a micro little habit that I love incorporating into my everyday life. Another amazing micro beauty habit that is for my inner beauty is doing a gratitude journal in the morning. I know I've probably beat y'all over the head about a gratitude journal in the morning, but I truly, truly, truly do swear by it because I really feel like it saved me. I use a five minute journal, I'll link it down below along with everything else. But in the five minute journal, you get three things you're grateful for, three things that would make today great, and you do two affirmations of some sort. And it's just such a great way to set the tone for the day. Whether you use a five minute journal, whether you just wake up and you just say, thank you God, and you're just grateful to the universe or grateful for whatever power you believe in. Oh, it is such an amazing way to start the day. Such an amazing micro inner beauty habit that I love. You should be starting every single day with gratitude. Also, when you're doing the five minute journal, Journal. It's also just a great way to journal, just to get your thoughts out, to see where your mind is at. Like when you start journaling and you've been journaling for a year and you go back and read some of those journal entries and see where you are today, it is so motivating because you realize whatever you're going through during that time or whatever you were manifesting, whatever you really want to, you got it. And you maybe even got even more. And then if you didn't got, get it, you got something even better. So I love journaling. I love starting my day off with that. Such an amazing daily micro beauty habit that I love. Okay, let's get into some like physical micro beauty habits that I love to do. Getting a hydrofacial. If you have never gotten a hydrofacial before, let this be your sign to go and book a hydrofacial. You can even go to the beauty schools and get a hydrofacial for the low. Literally go on Groupon, hydrofacial, or, or if you have a dedicated esthetician, they should have a hydrofacial machine. But I've been getting hydrofacials for about five years now. I love a hydrofacial because it exfoliates while infusing your skin with hydration as well. You can also get different infusions while it's infusing your skin. I forgot all the different infusions, but you, I think it's like collagen or vitamin C or whatever. It is great for hyperpigmentation. They have an acne one. It is great for dry skin. It is, and it, there's no downtime to it. So it's almost like getting like a peel of some sort, but there's no downtime. I get a hydrofacial about once a month, if not every other month. Such a little micro beauty habit that will literally upgrade your skincare game. And then when you get a hydrofacial, all of your skincare products for the next couple weeks will penetrate better. Oh, just chef's kiss. Speaking of my favorite skincare products, I get a lot of questions on what specific serum I use for my glowy skin, so let me put you on. It's from Dalba. Thank you so much, Dalba, for sponsoring this video and supporting this community. I personally use their White Truffle First Spray Serum, specifically because of their white truffle that's in the serum. It's such a great source of antioxidant, and it's really gonna give you that instant glowy skin while improving skin elasticity and smoothing fine lines. It's super easy to use. You just wanna make sure you shake it well and mist onto the skin about five times. I even keep an extra bottle in my bag whenever I travel just to refresh my skin. I get mine off of Amazon. You can also search for Dalba on amazon.com and you will be obsessed. Thank me later.
Also, with your skincare, whenever you're doing your skincare, especially your serums, especially your toners, bringing those down your neck and wiping them on your hands. Your hands and your neck are your first signs of showing aging. If you're using those products, I don't want to waste any products with them. So making sure to bring it down your neck and put it on your hands just to keep those moisturized, especially during the winter. Such a little thing that you can incorporate to a prevent aging b moisturize but it just looks good when your chest is glowing your skin is glowing your hands look good nice and smooth like who wouldn't want that doing something cold in the morning now i have been ice rolling for a long time but if you don't have an ice roller you can get an ice roller off amazon if you don't have an ice roller splashing your face with water or doing a cold shower not only is this great for digestion i heard but it's also great for anxiety and linked to help alleviate some symptoms of depression. It's great for depuffing, debloating my face. That's mainly why I use it in the morning. And it just wakes me up in the morning, like a jolt of like, oh, it makes me feel so good in the morning. So incorporating that in your morning routine, 10 out of 10. Red light therapy devices. Now, this is something new that I've been adding in to my skincare game. But when I tell you, I already low key notice a difference. And then when I see people's like long term before and afters, I'm like, wow, that's just a light. So I have the Omnilux, which is expensive AF, but there are, I think there's a current body one. There's some on Amazon. There's the ones that don't even have the masks and it's just like a device. I think I saw that on like the TikTok shop or whatever. Um, yes, investing in a red light therapy device is such a game changer. It's such a little micro daily beauty habit that will literally take your skincare game to another level. I'm going to move back down to body. Ex doing a deep exfoliation followed by a deep conditioning treatment. What do I mean by that? You doing dry brushing or um, going in the shower and actually physically exfoliating using a body scrub and using an in shower conditioning treatment. I personally love the splash salve from Hani. It is incredible. You want to find something that's an in shower conditioning treatment. Something that you something that you put on in the shower that's activated by water that when you get out of the shower, you don't necessarily have to use lotion. I like to use lotion, but I don't know what it is about that combo of exfoliating and using an in shower conditioning treatment. Your skin will be so so glowy so hydrated for a long time like I'm talking the rest of the week like you don't have to do this daily again it's such a micro beauty habit that has made my skin so soft so amazing like you like that combo chef's kiss Speaking of your body, including a body retinol in your body care routine will upgrade your body care routine to a level that you're like, why haven't I used this before? You can even take some of your retinol, some of your tretinoin and put it in your lotion a few times a week. Your skin on your body is a lot thicker than your facial skin. Take higher actives, it can take more frequent stuff like that. Once I started including a body serum that has like AHAs, BHAs into my body care routine, not only did my shaves last longer, but my skin is so even and so beautiful i used to always look at women's legs and be like wow like i feel like mine always look prickly or strawberry legs and i was like i just needed an exfoliation of course i exfoliate my face why wouldn't i start exfoliating my body oh it's such a little thing that i tweaked in my body care routine that has made such a difference putting vaseline on your feet especially focusing on the heel area because for me that's where i get the driest and putting on socks and being in it overnight you will have the softest prettiest feet Ever. I love doing this once a week and you know Vaseline is cheap and just getting some socks and it just oh, when I wake up in the morning and I feel my feet and I look down at my feet I I love it I love it I love it and then when I go and get a pedicure they're not just like shaving off all the dead skin because I'm doing it at home I'm taking proper care of my feet Let's talk about the face. Let's talk about lashes. Whether you get a lash lift, whether you tint your eyelashes, whether you get lash extensions, whether you do your lash extensions at home, I notice so many more compliments when I do something to my lashes. We all have beautiful eyes. Like, I don't care who you are, we all have beautiful eyes, whether it be the color, the shape of it, how they're positioned on your face. So, I think you should highlight them in whatever fashion. I personally get lash extensions. I will have my lash artist down below but she is amazing because I would recommend you finding a lash artist that looks at your face shape and looks at your eye shape and literally measures your eye so that she can design a custom set to you and your eyes to your features look the best like for the longest I really thought cat eye was the type of like lash lash style that I needed but when I went to her when I went to my lash tech she was like I think doll eye suits you better and ever since I've been getting doll eye 
complete game changer. So I would highly, highly recommend investing in something with your eyelashes, even if it's just like an eyelash growth serum. It will make a world of a difference and you will start feeling more confident when you do your skincare routine, when you do your makeup, when you go out, just have that no makeup look. Oh, it is such a game changer. Another micro beauty habit is your eyebrows. Whether you get them waxed, whether you get them threaded, whether you get them microbladed. I personally have my microbladed. I love it. It was such an amazing investment because I never really have to do my brows and my face is always structured. It's always, it always looks put together. Like when I have my lash extensions on and my eyebrows are microbladed, like it doesn't matter. Maybe I need one or two dots of concealer and I'm out the door. It just, it's such a good investment that on the day to day, I don't have to really do any Thing to look presentable your teeth whether you use invisalign whether you use an at-home whitening kit whether you get crowns or veneers like me a beautiful smile and i don't mean a straight smile or if you're missing teeth none of that investing in your teeth whatever it looks like is a such a game changer even if you just save up to get it professionally whitened by your dentist or just a checkup having good breath like your teeth are so important i would be remiss if i told you that when i got my teeth done and obviously i got them a couple shades lighter and everything like that like the compliments the confidence i felt oh my gosh getting my teeth done was probably one of the best things that i have done like that was truly the pinnacle of a high maintenance to be low maintenance. I never have to whiten my teeth anymore. I always look presentable and warm and friendly. Like whenever I smile, I can just tell I have this effect on people. And then also like just my confidence went through the roof. But you don't have to get veneers or anything like that. You could just get an ironing kit. You could, you could just go to the dentist, maybe invest in an Invisalign, maybe look in, in invisible braces, whatever it looks like for you, investing in your teeth, such a micro beauty habit that will literally change your entire face. One thing that I don't necessarily think that you have to get but something that i have personally noticed in my micro beauty habits is baby botox and or facial fillers now i have facial balancing if you're also interested in any of the stuff that i've gotten done on my face or my body i have an entire video just like exposing myself but i have facial balancing where they put a little bit of filler in your cheek your jaw your chin wherever you may need so that like let's say like you really want a sharp jawline if you go in and get filler in your jawline it might accidentally make your face disproportionate so getting facial balancing will really balance out your face and boy did it make such a difference i don't know if i just sleep on one side a lot and like my, my face was just like i look at my face before facial balancing i will never not invest in facial balancing i will include my injector down below now one thing that i haven't gotten i see people before and after and i'm like that is so interesting because i would have never guessed is whenever i see people get baby botox or botox in general they just have this if they're not like overfilled they just have this glow this tightness to their skin and i couldn't put my finger on it until i watched somebody literally expose themselves and like oh yeah i got baby botox i'm like that's what it is like that's why you're glowing you just you look very refreshed like so i'm not saying inject your face but i'm telling you if you're noticing some someone looks like slightly different they probably got either facial balancing or botox Botox. It's something that you can't go out and pay for. Last couple of things, your nails. I'm switching up my nails, but if you can find a nail color that is like your nail color, but better, such a micro change but let me tell you why this is amazing because if you get a nail color that's like your nails but better i personally love put it in neutral by opi you can go so much longer in between getting your nails done when they grow out they just look like your nail buds and nobody can really even tell and especially if for the girlies that love to do their nails at home uh finding a color that's like your nails but better just like finding a lip color that's your lips but better just takes your normal everyday look up a level dainty jewelry i now when i wear dainty jewelry it, it elevates every single look that i do even if it's just a basic white t-shirt having some simple gold hoops having a simple necklace some simple earrings having those jewelry pieces be very very high quality that will last you a very long time it's, again it's such a little way to just elevate your look on an everyday basis i mentioned a number of times on my channel about how i love to optimize sleep i, I think it is such a great way to focus on my sleep especially my beauty sleep Sleep, I make a nighttime mocktail drink that has magnesium, adaptogens, collagen in it, and electrolytes. I literally call it my nighttime sleepy mocktail. I have a couple of recipes on my Globe Diaries. I have specific 
shorts, I have specific IG reels, I have specific TikToks all about this recipe, but that is another micro beauty habit. That first of all, makes me feel beautiful. I always, I put it in like a nice little glass and it makes me feel like that girl and I wind down at the end of the night, like I love it. But also on the same tip, like I just mentioned, including collagen in my everyday drink. So I include it in my protein shake in the morning and I also drink collagen. I use the NeoCell collagen and it also has vitamin C in it in my, uh, in my mocktail. I swear my skin has been glowing. It has been so plump. Collagen is also amazing for digestion as well. Like you need to start including it in your everyday routine. Such a little micro daily beauty habit that I love doing. Speaking of collagen, speaking of drinks and stuff like that, another great micro beauty habit that I love doing is infusing my water. We all know that we should be drinking a lot of water in the day. I don't know about you, but I be getting like headaches at the end of the day. I'm like, why do I have a headache? Because you haven't drank enough water, girl. So I be trying to carry around my Stanley cup. I try to sip on it throughout the day, but such an amazing micro beauty habit is start infusing your water. Start infusing your water with electrolytes and infuse it with L-glutamine for that painful bloating or if you want if you want that really flat stomach you can even start infusing it with chlorophyll which is great for glowing skin and it literally is like an internal deodorant the last thing i'm going to mention is learning yourself now what do i mean by that in time to really do like a color analysis or a kibby body type like literally learning your body type really looking in the mirror looking at your skin tone looking at your hair color and matching your makeup what you wear, the colors you wear, even your nail color. Making those adjustments, you can take a whole bunch of quizzes. I'll link some down below. But your glow up journey, your beauty is your beauty. It is unique to you. So it's great to take inspo from these content creators or whatever or whatever social media is feeding us, but it's very important to look at ourselves in the mirror, see what we're working with, and to enhance those things in whatever way we see fit. And only do that if we start personalizing stuff. So it's taking quizzes like those are great for doing that. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully I dropped some gems on you. Hopefully I gave you the motivation and the inspiration to start including these little micro daily beauty habits into your everyday life. And a lot of them are free too, which we always love. If you like content like this, go ahead, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, comment something down below that's just something little and small that you just know upgrades your look. Again, I could make a very exhaustive list, but I'm like, let me keep it around 20 let's chit chat in the comments let me learn some stuff so i hope you found this video very very helpful please check out some of my daily glow up diaries you're gonna find a lot of glow up tips on there don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok you're gonna find a lot of glow up tips that you won't find on here i will see you in the next video i hope you enjoyed this one and i will see you later all right bye girl Thank you.